and stuff you do, but the uh, 12 Korean. And I know how normally I do like um, videos on like um, stuff that I make in my room and stuff. But for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get SNES, NES, and GBA uh, ROMs and UMD emulators for your iPod Touch. If you don't know what you're talking about, I'll show you right now. Just don't want you guys to see my passcode, so that's why I moved away. Alright. So what you're gonna want to do, or uh, first of all, I'll show you what it gives you. You go into this NES emulator, and in here you'll get uh, this little thing. You can get like set all your options and stuff for it, and. There you go, OMG, Super Nintendo on my iPod. Okay, so, now, how to get that on your iPod. So we go like this, okay, so I'm on. There we go, okay. So you want to go into Cydia. And then, just hold on, let Cydia do its thing. Just, it's just a loading. Okay, now what you're really going to do is go into search, and on the top here, you're going to want to type in S, S, oops, sorry, sorry guys, S, N, oh god, just one sec. My thing didn't reload its data yet, so you shouldn't do this, but if it does, you know. Yes. There we go. Okay. So S. N E S and in here you won't have any of these because these are like the the ROMs and whatnot and they can't read that but yeah those are the ROMs. So anyways, um in here you're gonna find a thing that says uh SNES emulator. You're gonna wanna install that and then when you install that, you'll get this icon right here. I know the camera's really bad, but yeah, you get that icon. So yeah, then once you get that, I'm gonna go back into Cydia, and you're gonna download. In in that same thing, you're gonna search for M E S and G B A after you let that one install, and then you let both those install, and then you go back to um, manage, sources, edit, add, and you're going to want to add a source called, um, IROM repo dot com forward slash capital C Y D I A um, forward slash again, and then whichever one you want, so S N E S, and then after that one you do N E S, and then after that one you do G B A, and you have to type in that same source for all of them except for at the end you change it from. I know you can't read that. I'll put it in the description though. And um, then you're going to want to add that source. And when you do that, you go back into sections. And you should have a source that says um, IROM GBA, IROM Game Boy, and IROM SNES. So if you go to SNES, show that it works, just go to mm, Best Motion.
Let me install that. Let's continue to confirm. I know my camera's getting more quick reflection off this iPod. So sorry about the video, guys, but try to make it the best. But everything will be in the description, so. Turn the video. Well, you don't have to do that, but. So then, if I go like this, just wait for it to exit. There we go. And if I go to SNES, emulator, in here, there it is. Bust a move. And then you can select portrait and sound, landscape and sound, portrait and no sound, all these different options. So I'm going to cut the video short here. But to move. So there you go guys. Um, hope this video helps. If you have any problems, just comment or you know whatever, just leave me a comment if you have any problems with it. But the majority it should work, but um, I have been having problems with um, GBA and with uh, the GB4, so, um, I think NES too, but, well, yeah, just those three. So, um, so far right now, I've only been able to get SNES to work, but it's all I really want, so, let me know if it works for you guys. Alright, um, I'll have another, um, video on how to get the, oops, how to get the five apps and the five apps across. And uh, so far, this has been 12 Korean and peace.